My name is Mark O'Connell. I'm a South African, but only recently, in five years ago, I moved to Shenzhen. I'm the general manager of Zili Golf and Country Club. I've been in the golf environment for many years of my life. This has really given me another opportunity to show some of my skills and ideas at Shenzhen Zili Golf and Country Club. A typical day is a bit haphazard. I arrive in the morning and I spend a lot of the time walking around the club. As I said, normally weekends are, are, are much busier that we'll get over two to three hundred. But this is where everything happens. The start of control, it's all managed from here and we have four courses A, B, C and D and start a control and Joan and Susan then will direct where the people will go from here. I think South African golf has been established for a lot longer than, than China. China's golf has only really started within the last 30 years so it's a very new sport to China. I was for seven years at a top uh, golf estate called Fancourt. Basically from that experience I have brought that across into China. In South Africa we have development programs with youngsters and, and Ernie Els is a, and Gary Player are typical greats that have encouraged the young to play golf and give them an opportunity, certainly from those communities of disadvantaged areas. And I hope that the same can apply in China, and possibly this could be one of our targets at this club as we go forward. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So every member is interviewed by myself and, and Lily, and all the same sort of process. There's a big component as well of looking after the golf course. It needs uh, both the influence from a golfing background and obviously the technical uh, background of our uh, golf maintenance team. But what they're doing over here, that's what we're going to go and we're going to have a look at. That the, it's very thick over very here. Thick. So he'll cut, they will come through behind and pick it up and scoop yeah, up yeah. the grass. How are you, right? This is, this is Peter Harhoff. He's a, another know? South African with me. Peter's been a real heart and backbone to help uh, myself, Brian, and, and Bill on the golf course. Mark suggested that perhaps on the golf course, if a person got injured um, and we had to transport him and they weren't able to, to uh, walk or perhaps they had a heart attack or something, we could uh, load them up onto this so we refabricated and did a bit of engineering design. Um, and then we can, the, the last thing we're getting is our stretcher to pick the guys up and down. So, yeah. so I spent a lot of time on the golf course inspecting, trying to get the ideas across on behalf of the members for a good golfing experience. Okay guys, I just want to say thanks very much for your hard work. Uh, the golf courses are looking very good. I appreciate your support and teamwork there because it is a team a team effort. Good job. Good job. Good job. Well done, guys. Well done. And uh, ah, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. The other side of my my work entails um, recruiting. What were your main jobs that you've done before? I believe that it's very very important to interview every single staff member that comes through the club as they are the core of your business um, and without your staff you're not going to be able to achieve the goals that you'd like to. You will stay here, I'm sure you will enjoy working here. The other thing I just want to point out, I've 
one of my favorite photographs here. We did a whole um, music festival at Fancourt uh, in South Africa and Mandela, he was the host. Um, he was such a great man. See you tomorrow, hey? Huh? Okay then. China, in comparison to South Africa, is certainly busier and they have a lot more cars on the road. These are challenges that we will have to deal with, but it gives me time to think on the way home. We've got great cell phone reception here, so I can do a bit of work. Okay, Pete. Yeah, you keep well, eh? Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll have our meeting. We have our meeting at 10 o'clock tomorrow, and then I, I probably I might go and play in the green jacket with old, with old Kevin. Hey, Jax. Ah, here's my daughter. She's at home at the same time as me. Hello, my baby. As a family, we are very happy to live here in Shenzhen. There's a lot to do. My wife, Lynette, and my two daughters, Belinda and Jacqueline. And then I also have my brother. He does a lot of international trade and investment deals here. Ian is, I call him, the Chinese brother. I wish I could speak, uh, and speak that well. If you can imagine, it would make my job 10 times easier. <laughs> and teaching Chinese, okay, he's too busy, yeah. <laughs> My brother has worked out in China and studied out in China for many years and I wanted to be close to him. And China has always been appealing to myself. The first time I saw Shenzhen was back in 85. It was just what, rice uh, paddies. Yeah. Just fields, nothing. Fishing, uh, fishing village. Fishing actually, village. Yeah. And, uh, so now we've, we've, we've got a, a big stadium here. Um, facilities, everything. So it's, it's, it's very comfortable to live. Um, they took the water samples the water from samples the sewage plant. Yeah, and, and the lakes. The lakes is okay, but okay. the sewage plant is ongoing. It's ongoing. Okay. Yeah. okay, great. Yeah. Good. I think that obviously, I think this year, it's on my strategy plan anyway. All environmental practices, we're going to have to obviously pay great attention to that. I don't think there's any secret in, in managing, but I think the important thing is, is always having an open mind. We might not, be, it might not be serving from the right or the left in the 100% way, but it's a, it's a natural feeling from the heart of people that makes it uh, this way. We do a special advertisement on WeChat to promote WeChat to get everybody's WeChat, that way they can bring more guests. It, it could be an idea. I think, I think you're quite right, Brian. We've got to use I think people WeChat come to work on a daily basis with the will and the want to achieve. I don't think they come to work not to work. So that's the principle I always uh, always um, worked with with staff. I think we can do it. I think the targets this year are tough, but it's achievable if we all apply our minds. We uh, built a very good uh, relationship with the members as well as the staff. I paid a monthly fee. I think it's one of the best clubs for me. All the staff like him very much and we all respect him. Okay, okay, let's go. Yay! <laughs> Hands up! Hands up! Yay! Yeah. Okay, it'll, okay, it'll be okay there. Golf course development in China has gone through a bit of a rough time where the Chinese government has really cracked down on a lot of illegal golf course developments. From my point of view, I want golf to increase in development and for more golfers to enjoy and appreciate the game.